we are all very confident in our understanding and we're trying to relay it to you and there's a disconnect from the help. But that very program that you're pointing out was created by an anti-flat earther. He set out- It was, yes, I did not know that. And check it out. He set out to prove flat earth is wrong. Under his own admission, what happened oh. to, to his surprise, he was able to map out everything that happens in the sky way more accurately than he expected to be able to do that. He then, this is his own admission, he then tried to figure out why it wouldn't work on a flat earth. So it effectively backfired. What he then did was say, oh, well, in order for that to be the case, the light rays would have to bend in crazy ways. And he started arbitrarily adding light rays that weren't even relevant, weren't even real data points, had nothing to do with reality to make them look insane. So when you look at it, you're like, oh, flat earth can't be true. Look at what the light would have to do. Then the flat earther said, wait, no, this all works really well other than this egregious straw man you've tagged on the end of it, which is why Shane took it from him, removed the straw man, and then we now show it to people so they can understand the concept. Okay. This, so this, was, on, this, this was on Shane's website, right? Yes, I, that's, I just explained. Shane took it from him, right? Because of the fact that he was implementing straw mans within it. So it- Oh, don't so he's, he's the, showing it on his website to point out that it's wrong to point out that it works without the straw man that the dude desperately tagged on the end of it because even he surprised himself with how well he could make it work. He expected for it to completely disprove Flat Earth, but it didn't. So of course the anti-Flat Earthers won't tell you that. They'll say, oh look, stupid flurfs, they're using something that someone used to disprove Flat Earth, ha ha ha. It's like, yeah, he tried and admittedly it didn't the way he expected it to, okay? So now you know the inside scoop. What we're saying is, well, conveniently, the light doesn't actually have to do that. And we're just saying, take a little dome, take a flashlight over the dome and move it over it. What you're gonna see is that the light that's seen from inside the dome is gonna be in a totally different position than the actual flashlight. It's not because the light has to bend. And in that scenario, you do have different mediums, but the point is that we just see in a little dome. So it looks like things are converging and displaced. We know this happens because of corpuscular and anticorpuscular rays, or even divergence and convergence of the sun rays in general, without the anticorpuscular. But we just see in the dome, we, and then when things are outside of our little visual dome, we see them in a place that they're not at. If you now take the physics of light and perspective and apply it to a point source of light, like the sun, you're gonna see that just based on that alone, it just so happens to perfectly match flat earth. So what they did was they took the apparent position of the sun and the stars based on the way we see the sky and they reverse engineered a globe earth model. Literally, that's how they made the model. So now people point to the sky and say, look, the sky matches the globe model. Ha ha ha. And we say, duh, that's how it was made. No. Walter said that it couldn't work in reality because of bendy light rays, so I will just keep repeating that as if I am smart. It couldn't work on a flat earth because glob. Interestingly, the globe model was built from observations of the celestial sky. So when people claim it was built on globe observations, making all observations exclusive to the globe, I chuckle a little and think, oh bless his heart. What a so retard. So you know Walter's model better than him? Top left. Stop saying thanks Walter. Bendy light, bendy light, bendy light, bendy freaking light. But bendy light? Read my lips. Ben. D. Light. Rays. Freaking bendy light rays.